this is version on tap 9.9 .9. there has been uh, some changes which has been made so just to get used to that one i just want to demonstrate what changes has been made in 9.9 if you will see first they have very beautiful map layout option here like if you will select any you want to check some component and how it has been layout it shows all that information like this is a flow from which ethernet port it is coming to towards which interface and through which interface what volumes could be accessed so all these informations can be populated so there is a very beautiful graphical change what they have brought this is a, a lab so here they have we can see the capacity information throughput iops in the dashboard and in one major change with respect to the previous version which is tier option now you will not see the aggregate option so the thing is still it works on the same fundamental like how it used to be earlier it used to have aggregates and still it is aggregate but they have probably classified into two tiers like local tier and the uh, cloud tier so it is uh, because uh, now on tap is having an integration with the cloud so they are having that feature as well so instead of uh, having a aggregate options you'll have a tier option over here and here the svm has been created and one more thing earlier like in old version when i used to work it was only like we could able to host san and nas now on tap they are giving a feature of s3 as well so because of that you could able to see the buckets option over here and one beautiful thing which i found is like card layout so here you can see all the card layouts like when licenses snmp cloud connection and when you have the uh, metro cluster setup then you have this uh, cluster pair all that information and one more th change is like i'll just change to inactive timeout to zero because if something i'm not doing and then there could be a possibility like my screen i will automatically get kicked out so i'm just making it to zero so that that doesn't happen to me at all and my session should remain connected all the all the time and here we have host initiated groups which we can create and fs clients which were active in from the last 48 hours protection in in here we, we can see the rep if uh, there's a snap mirror all that information how many clusters are paired and what kind of relationships are there ethernet port if and if fc port information so all that information is here and here once we create the inter uh, interconnects or leave this information is populated over here so this is drastic change not drastic change in graphical but uh, still the application is same only the new introduction is sp3 uh, s3 protocols and likewise i'll just check my CLI here yep. let me change to 12 so that it should be visible and that's it now it is visible and here i can check all that information like what is my clusters 
plus rest uh, information like I am to I am having a two node cluster then what is the serial number of the cluster so here is the serial number of my cluster and the unique ID for the cluster so all that information is populated here and just like that what we did in the UI like there should be no timeout so I'm just changing here over here as well the timeout options because uh, by default it is 30 minutes so I'll change it to zero so that my session remain connected all the time for my testing purpose so this is a uh, how our on tap looks like this is the latest one 9.9 .9 and here you can see the cloud sync and all those options integration with the cloud how we can do so we'll, exp we'll explore all these things going further and rest of the things are pretty much understood like uh, we used to have volumes then learns then shares and all those things so that's all